Hello everyone, it's Yvette. Today I wanted to share with you my second DT project for the month of June. And this is for Mel's Craft Boutique. I will add her link below. Please go check her out. She has beautiful items in her shop. And if you use my code Daily Scrapper, you can get 10% off your purchase if you purchase $15 or more in the US. So um, it's worth it because her prices are really reasonable to begin with. So I will add that below. And let me show you, I actually have two projects that I made. Here is my first one. I made again one of those file folder minis. Um, I forgot to tell you and I forgot to add the link where I learned how to make it was from Tamika. Hi Tamika. And she says you can make it in 10 minutes and she's right. You can make it in 10 minutes, of course, not decorating it, but putting it together. So I'll make sure to add that link below for you. But I went ahead and for this throughout the whole entire book, I used the paper that I picked up at Michael's just recently. And it's this one right here. It has pretty orange colors. And then I laid on top of it this beautiful, beautiful applique, which is gorgeous. It's from Mel's shop and I cut a piece off because it is a little bit longer. And I laid it there and then she also sent me for the month of July my DT package that comes in this bag and there's a lot a lot of stuff in this bag and she sells this for $18 in her shop so I opened it up and I used some of the stuff that was in there and one of the things that was in there was this beautiful butterfly applique and you'll see that bit video next because I already recorded it I just have to upload it and this trim also is in that package and it's just beautiful. I actually had some left from the previous, from my June's design team package. And I just love it. It's so dainty, so cute. And here's one of her resin roses. This is the peach color. This also came in the bag. It's just so cute with a butterfly. So I added that up there. I distressed this piece of paper that was also from the same paper line um, with, what was the one I used? Rusty Hinge. And let's see, then I added this charm. I added the key from my stash as well as the moon and star. But this heart over here is from her shop and it's so cute. I just love it. It's a beautiful heart. And you get about five of those. I had the little bag around here somewhere, but you get like five in a pack. And anyway, so that's my first project. A little book and then oh here it goes yeah, it was right next to me so they come like this and it's really cute so then my next project is this little box that I altered and I found the box at the dollar store really really cute I'm gonna try not to shake it because I have buttons inside of it already and I didn't realize how much noise they make but I used the paper Ramble Rose which is this one right here love that paper and then here's a piece of a trim but it's not the same one because this one has like little pearls and this one has sequins but this one is also in her shop and then of course the resin rose which I love so this is the rose one this pretty applique that you see in the back is this one right here and it came in that bag there was a few of them inside so I laid that under it and then these pretty little flowers here um, it was a big bunch, but I cut them and then I just instead of using the whole thing like this like I did on my other book I just cut them and laid them down. So I have three of them. I Thought it was cute. Then this resin rose came also in the bag as Well as this pretty little heart, which I think is so stinking cute it's Just a little heart and then the birdie was in my stash as well as the life piece from one of the games which I think I threw the game away and then I found this around the house and I love it I should have I wish I had kept the game now because I would have taken all the life cards out but that's okay because I'm sure I'm sure I'll come across another game or something right but uh, let's see what else I also wrapped the same rose trim all around and then the paper and then in the bottom, I use a piece of the paper and my stamp. And that is it. Try not to make so much noise for you. So that is my little altar box. And of course, you saw the buttons inside. So those two, there we go. So that is it. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you like my projects. 
and go check out her store and I will talk to you soon. I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.